Hello everyone, it's Brian, and welcome back to Fallout New Vegas, You Only Live Once, Hardcore Edition, the game where we never ever heal. Today we have for you what I like to think of as a very special Robo Scorpion episode, because there are gonna be, there's gonna be a whole lot of Robo Scorpion. We are in X-13, the X-13 facility, the last of the three pre-facilities we have to do to even be allowed to go talk to Dr. Mobius or whatever his name is. And we are we are now picking up little bits of stealth suit cuz we're going to now have to validate the stealth suit. Get up, we got to get the gloves, got to get the boots and stuff. We're at 104 of 455 total hit points left to finish the whole game in cuz we can never heal and I'm never going to back when I allowed it that doesn't count when they come back and they come back but they don't count. Uh, and we've only got 104 left, or or we won't make it. So we got a and we got a whole other DLC after this, and then we got the final battle of Hoover Dam, and I think we even got one more companion quest. We got a we got a knock off. So I'm starting. To, you know, this this DLC right here, the Old World Blues, is is in fact kicking my butt a little bit, and so I'm I'm less confident about whether we're gonna make it. <laughs> <laughs> that, that, that I was a while, you know, at the beginning of this whole run, I was like thinking, yeah, this is totally not gonna, totally not gonna make it. And then uh, there was a period where I was thinking, hey, yeah, we're totally gonna make it. Now I'm thinking, uh oh. So we'll just see. But what we're doing now, so we're gonna, we're gonna go into the little thing, and we're gonna, it's, it's sort of like the school where you have to run the thing a couple of times, I think. And we're gonna go in there, but when we come out, there's gonna be Robo Scorpion C. And. They're going to be like, you know, some of them are going to be kind of right approximately here-ish. Uh, you know, it's so when you come out of the thing, they're like sitting right across the room from you. So I'm kind of approximating where I think they're going to be sitting. And I am just, I'm going to load them up with some mines because, you know, even a stealth boy, I'm not sure I could get around a guy like standing right in that doorway. So I am just going to really... Pulling out my, pulling out all my mine stops here. Maybe even the sat. I'm hoping that satchel charges. You know, I, I won't have time to like pull the trigger, but I'm hoping they add their explosive power. You know, that would that would seem intuitive to me. We'll see if that actually is how they work. And uh, yeah, sure, I got a zillion frag mines. Like, and so you only get one chance with the mines because the mines have to hit them from you know from stealth. <laughs> In other words, while you're still in stealth. Doesn't matter if they don't see the mines. It matters the fact whether you're in stealth or not when they hit the mines to get the big triple damage. You know, hitting them through their all their, all their zillions of armors and and things like that. So that's why I'm willing to just kind of. Um, it's not about whether the actual, you know, bad guy is is super powerful. It's about whether the bad guy is was going to do me a whole crap ton of damage or not. Okay, so. Stealth suit, we gotta validate. And let's get get equipped here. Yeah. Well we're not quite all the way in. We gotta go Gotta go deeper in here. Alright, so there's a bunch of that. This is actually probably another place where there's gonna be bad Robo Scorpions on the way out. Just thinking about this. I have kind of a racial memory of coming up those stairs and there's Robo Scorpions like right here. What if I did a little bit of a little bit of C4 in here? That'd be interesting. Then I could wait till I'm in stealth, and then pull the trigger, and if the thing's up there, maybe you'll take enough damage. I'm not sure that's enough things, but if I put mines down, then, then it'll go off, not necessarily when I want it to. All right, so here is the stealth thing activator. Some ammo boxes to check through. And that safe is where they give me little prizes if I'm successful. I can upgrade the stealth suit, I believe. 
Alright, so we might as well Hello, wear the stealth nice suit. And it's going to irritatingly today? talk to me. You cannot imagine how much fun that is. We're okay on Stimpaks. This is the basic stealth test. The robots will be looking for us, but we won't let them find us. We're okay on medics, until we have to numb the pain. Definitely makes you feel like you're playing... What's the Valve game? Uh, it's not Half-Life, it's the... You know... Portal! Portal. Makes you feel like you're playing Portal, doesn't it? Alright. Go over here to this door here. So we're sneaking through a facility and we're supposed to like not be detected. And so there's robots, see? And they wouldn't actually shoot me if they the little robo brains, whatever those things are called, not the scorpions, the brains. They're not super perceptive and you just need to kind of stay behind them as you go through here. You know, you, you, you can kind of pay attention to which way they're going and wait for him to go past and go around. You know, the first part is not not super actually hard stealth action. See, you know, we're just kind of walking right past these guys. Look, there he is. Oh, look, I walked past him. <laughs> not so bad. And then you go to the office in here, and literally that's all it was, except that now there's going to be some Robo Scorpions. This one, they plopped the Robo Scorpions right in the test. So, anyway, that was fun with the stealth suit, but now let's get back to get to power like armor. So, here's the thing we came in here to clean out. And we get the X13 document. Yay, document! Wee! Ooh, alert! Oh no! So, now I think there's Robo Scorpions, see? Oops, well, I think I hit the robot brain, except that apparently I made them angry at each other. I don't know if I hit them in the weird control pack or, or they just are that way, but somehow they're all. Robo Scorpions are fighting Robo Brain, so that's good for the moment, except that now I'm trapped in this office and, and there's Robo Scorpions, see? So these ones here in the test, you know, I, I just, I couldn't figure out a way to, I couldn't think of a way I could put mines in here. Because then there's the Robo Brains. I didn't really want to aggro the Robo Brains against me. But certainly while they're going to fight each other, that's a unexpected windfall. Once the firing calms down here. Okay, so what do we got? I see a dead Robo Brain. Wow, there's a Robo Scorpion right there. He. Ah! Okay. Oh, almost. Ah, oh man. Man, was that close. Oh, and then he explodes. Oh my gosh. Yeah, they explode at close range. That could have been, that could have been bad. But it was not in fact bad. That was, it was actually good. I was waiting to try to get back into hidden here. Time pass. He's right in the doorway, and I don't know if I could hit him in one shot. So that would be no. That would be no. For some reason, they're not coming in here with me. Cause man, if they came in here with me, they could, they could have my ass. Well, so they're not coming, but they're not going back into hidden for me. Where is he? Okay, there he is. Oh, is that all I did to him? Lame. Close the door. <laughs> the door comes open. Right, I'm just waiting. He'll either comes in here or calms that down. But not coming in the office with me. 
should invest in walking eyes. I feel like they've come in the office with me before in earlier lives, so. Oh, man, I hit the couch or something. That's not good. Oh, he still didn't see me. Maybe. These intruders oh! Are getting oh! Oh, that was sad. Oh, man. That was a big hit. That was like, oh, whatever that was. 27, 29, 26. 26, something like that. But anyway, we're at 78. <laughs> that was a bad, bad hit. That's a bad, bad hit. And we have a long way to go. We have a long way to go. Okay, so that probably counts as walking eyes. stupid. I'm like, well, yeah, I guess it's because I hit the stupid couch. Um, stupid things happen. Scorpion stupid things attack. happen. So now there's Robo Scorpion. See, uh, he missed on the door edge there. This may, this may be where. <laughs> this may be the end of the run. I don't know. Trapped by Robo Scorpions in the office. think how to get out of here without taking any damage I have to say that the fact that not coming into the office is something maybe I need to exploit a little bit more I just shoot them from in here they're not gonna come in here I'll do what I apparently should have done in the first place is just shoot them out the damn door and not go out there all right we're still in caution but I'm not sure from where somebody's right around the corner still should invest in walking red eyes. The constant high volume chattering over the intercom is, I have to say, one of the other reasons I, I just don't personally like this, this DFC. It's just too much. Too much high volume, boring yelling of the same thing over and again, over and over again. Do not want. Should invest in. Yes, you've only told us you should invest in walking eyes about 17 times already. There we go. And you explode, but not near us. Good. All right. Well, let's just get get back on the horse here and finish finish the stealth run. Interestingly, we've we've kind of cleaned out a lot of the. Uh, <laughs> they cleaned out the robo brains for us, which means it'll be a little, be that much easier to do the test a couple more times. But there's still more robo scorpions down here, infiltrated with us. Um, now this time we're in hidden. Stop that! You'll damage the hall. You are no match for science. Okay. We did a pretty good healthy chunk on him, but now I'm terrified of him because I'm in danger. Yeah, okay. At least we went back at a caution. That's good. Um, let's just get properly lubed up. I can't believe I wasn't wearing Medex or, you know, under the influence or whatever of Medex. I can't believe I didn't have my Medex up when that when that thing blasted me a minute ago. That That is stupid. That is just pure stupid. I'm sitting on, like... 80 something medex, 90 something medex. Need to calibrate these robo sensors. It's right there behind the door. I certainly don't want to walk up right next. I think I could kill him in one Should shot, but he was in see me then he would, he would explode. You are no match for science. These guys have a wonky little AI, don't they? They they're not as you know, you could imagine, like, uh, a regular guy AI would be totally up my rear end by now. You know, every time you shoot them, they just come right at you. But these guys are a little bit... So maybe that's maybe that's part of their part of their shtick. Oh, he's... <laughs> now, if he sees me, if he's just, like, right there, then that's Still not good. Scanning. Come on, move away. Still scanning. Using third-person see-around-the-corner technology here. Should 
should invest in walking eyes. I mean, apparently the thing for these guys is shooting them through the crack in a door. <laughs> shooting them through a little diagonal thing. All right, got him. And I think there is still yet another one. Nobody in here with me. But there's still one around the corner. Take some, drink some water here. Still scanning. I'll say that as, you know, after the initial phase of the game, the the hardcore eating and drinking part has not been all that hard, although, you know, once you got to level 20 or so, well, that did almost nothing to him. But it has, it does mean our inventory is kind of, you know, it, it takes up part of our carrying capacity, so, you know, it, it's it's playing its role. And it certainly was, you know, early in the game, you really had to know where to find water <laughs> and, and plan for water. The uh, sleep portion, not quite so cool. But, but then again, later on, you know, I think sleep's maybe better done in Skyrim where it gives you the not only the bonus, but you have to do it to level up, you know, so you got to, like, get back to base and level up. But still pretty cool. A little bit more immersive for me. And just makes some of the random junk you find around seem a little bit more important. I see you. Now I end you. So you don't want to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with these guys, but they're really stupid, it turns out. They are just really extra dumb. And so I can get these rear, sh even when I'm not in stealth, I'm getting these rear shots on him. I'm just working him over with, with armor-piercing ammo. Scanning. Boom. And please, yes, keep traveling away from me before you explode. Boom. All right. Now, the question is, do we have to do the stealth test again? I, maybe we don't. The stealth test, I know we can run it again to upgrade the stealth suit, but the problem is, I don't think the stealth suit ever gets to be really worth using over just our regular, our regular stuff. So, detonator. It's up there. Wow, that did precious little damage to him. All right, so the C4 plan, you know, C4 minus, I guess if I, you can see if I had four or five C4s like, like I did last time, <laughs> it would have probably worked. But it did not, it did not do the trick. So now, so now there's Robo Scorpions, C. So now I'm going to have to kill him the old-fashioned way. I am, he isn't hidden, he, he was kind enough to go back to hidden. I guess there's, there's no dead bodies of his friends nearby for him to get suspicious about. It's just the fact that he got exploded by some C4. All right, so, so we're going to get a good stealth shot on him. Destroy this one. But not a very good one, but for some reason, given that you won't is he going to chase me? me? If he's going to chase me, I'll be afraid, but he apparently is not. It's just not Robo Scorpion Chasing Day. It's kind of kind of fun that they're they've got quirkily bad AI. That's in a way in character. Also, he's diagonal. Okay, shooting back now. I definitely don't want to get hit by that shooter. Yeah, you don't want. To get shot by Rose Scorpion, we have learned. Honestly, I can only take about two or three more hits in the entire game. <laughs> so this is starting to focus my attention a little bit. 
Though I have to say it kind of, in a way, it kind of helped me overcome the Robo-Scorpion because it's like, okay, well, I might die right here in this dungeon, but I got to get out of here somehow. And so I learned this thing. I, it taught me that, it taught me how bad their, their AI is. All right. So that's the reward safe, and... I'm not sure if there's anything else I can do before starting another test. If we do the, do the test again. Test selection. Advanced infiltration. Okay, can't be detected. And this time they're going to add some new little fun in. The little laser detectorizers. Can't walk through those even though we have light step because they're laser detectors. But we can just walk up to the edge of them and turn them off. So that's not very hard, is it? Um, I guess it would be harder if there were also robots who are trying to not be detected by at the same time. But the robots all died through the unexpected agency of robo-scorpions <laughs> taking them out. We'll re-unlock this door. Let's see if they... Nope, I was wondering if those guys would... So we would still be doing the same pattern. We're going to the same place. The records are in the same, or the document or whatever, the same place every time. Now there's, now there's these. But we don't have the other things. Detectors. Let's take some of these out. I don't. It's possible that if I was still getting experience points, they would give me experience, so there'd be a, a reason to do that. But I am at my level cap. Logan's loophole level cap. So, we did a document. And I think this time. So now the cell suit gets more perception and stuff. This time they don't give us any more Robo Scorpions. They do give us another prize. And now the expert infiltration test. And for this one, for this one, we have now all the original things, except see anyone we've taken out just stays out. But now there's little, they're like mines, but they're just detecto mines. They don't actually kill us. And I have to say, I'm not sure that with light step they would even go off. But there are detecto mines. And if the Robo Scorpions hadn't killed all the Robo Brains for us, then we'd have some, you know, we'd have some issues. But as it is, oh, look, a detecto mine. So we just disarm it. And the safe, oh, the X3 document, we infiltrated it again. No problemo. And one more test. Now they fixed the robots. And I think this is a weapons free. <laughs> I think this time it's weapons free or something. So we don't want to be attacked by them. But you can just walk right up behind these guys and turn them off. It's like when you have that perk that lets you do that to, to all robots. Here's some more of the little detecto mines that don't seem to go off at all for me. I don't think I actually have to undetect all these guys, or, you know, disarm all this stuff. I'm just doing it for fun. So there's my detective mine on the desk. Kind of, kind of cute. I hear wheel noises, but he's, he's out. Somewhere in here is another robot. Here's a detective mine. Proximity detector, they call them. But I call them detecto mines, okay? <laughs> Called detecto mines. If I want to call them detecto mines, another table mine. There's one last robo brain. Let's go 
test complete. Oh, right, I had to do them all. That's right, I didn't have to. It, it, there's no document the last time you have to disable all the robots. And now the, now the stealth suit moves faster in sneak speed. And we get, I was hoping to give me a stealth. You'd think a, you'd think a series of stealth tests would give me a stealth boy, but no. No. And okay, so we did it all. We did all the tests, and now we're done, except for getting back through that original room that had all the stealth boys, or not, had, <laughs> had all the robo scorpions, and for which we can find some kaboom! And he's got one little hit left, which we can hopefully hit him in time, and that's excellent. Excellent, excellent. So the mine, you can see why. I put a lot of mines down <laughs> because even with all those mines I put down, at least one of those—I think there might have been two of those guys—but at least one of them actually just barely survived the mines. But I did not have to go stealth boy on him. Cause see, it's a little the doorway is a little tight for stealth boy. Like I, I, the other ones, I could kind of get around, and you know, I, I could at least kind of stay five feet from him. But these corridors are a little tight, so I'm going went with the mine plan. All right, and there's a guy right around the corner, and but we've learned that they're just not that smart. Time for violence. Of course, I'm not that smart either in the sense that I, I can't shoot around corners very well. Now I that guy actually you. came around the corner, so I'm surprised I didn't get annihilated. But we're just going to have to brazen our way out one way or the other. Power from ah, he goes back to hidden. That is what we like. He went back to hidden. So now... We want to get a shot on him. Destroy this one. Wow, well, that is so... He takes so many hits. You're no match for hit him from hidden. I mean, unless, I, unless he went unhidden right before that, that was just... He takes a lot of damage. I don't like that. I don't like that part. But I do like that they're stupid. So, combination between stupid and a just taking an amazing amount of damage sponging is, I guess, the trade-off here. It's nice of him to go back to hidden, though. All right. I need to lube up with some... Stuff. Psycho might help. I guess if I used implant GRX, I might not have to run into. <laughs> Look at that! I am so. I'm bad at aiming at Robo Scorpions. Bad at aiming at Robo Scorpions. But he's not going to come around the corner this time, apparently. Now that I'm ready for him. Maybe that's why he says need to calibrate his robot sensors all the time. Wow, that was a... That one got him. One shot. I don't know. Psycho. <laughs> There's still another one. There he is. Came out to investigate. Oh, he's almost dead, and he's dead. Ah. Oh. And there's still another in there. So there's another... Two more. Two more in the... I think that's the final room in there. But I'm just thinking maybe maybe that's why he keeps saying he needs to recalibrate the robo sensors. Maybe that's the hint that these things are like blind as bats if you go to any effort at all to stay in stealth. On the other hand, they're pretty hard to shoot around corners. Well, I... Didn't do much damage. I hit him. Didn't do much damage to him. Unless I was, unless he took that damage from the 
explosion of the last guy, which I suppose is always a possibility. But he's not coming. He's a Mark III B. I don't know the differences between these things in terms of which ones have which weapons and which armor. There may be a difference, and I don't even know it. One little chunk out of him. Might have hit the corner as usual on one of the shots. <laughs> Got him that time. Sneak attack critical, even though it was a caution. Guess somebody else was being cautious. So he doesn't even sure? see me. Time for now he does. <laughs> you won't escape me. If we can get past this Robo Scorpion, I think we're good. On at least this next phase of this thing. <laughs> it's hard to tell which things are dead Robo Scorpions and which are live, so I'm not sure what to shoot at, but I got some chunks off of him. He's been dechunked. We only got 78. 78 hit points to finish the game. Can we finish the game? Or how much of it can we finish? Maybe we're, maybe we're at the stage where it's like, well, how far can we get? But you never know. I mean, sometimes you just don't take damage in things. Go, my like, I, I'm, I'm pretty sure that when we come to the final obvious. fight, I'm pretty sure I'll be able to mostly not take damage. I'll be mostly able to do that from stealth. And that's, that's one where, you know, they've got all those other guys... And we've done all these side quests, so there'll be all these other friendly guys running around, and so they'll get to soak up most of the Shame aggro. Walking eyes. So if we can get to there, then we should largely be good. But I'm a little bit worried about, or I should say a lot worried about Lonesome Road, because Lonesome Road is a hard damn DLC. Now, that's one I like, so that means I'm going to like it. I have spent more time playing it, and therefore I'm also better at it. So it might be that it's actually harder than this, but my liking of it means I've got a little bit more. It's just like I, you know, most people would say Dead Money is harder, but um, but I love Dead Money. <laughs> it's my favorite of them all. So so yeah, I'm good at it. So here's yeah, here's this stealth suit, and you can see it's like pretty heavy, like really heavy, and it only does a 14 DT, so it does, it's not like it somehow makes me super duper, in, you know, if it was like wearing a stealth toy all the time, then yes, I would be wearing the stealth suit. So here I am, I'm in Implant GRX, and I am just running, just brazenly running away from them because I like their little warm talking in slow motion voice. Yeah, just ran around the corner, going for the perimeter warning. I actually don't think it'll keep me hidden from you, but I think that those things are so slow on the uptake that we're just running from them. We didn't even get into stealth, didn't burn a stealth boy, and we're back at the back of the sink. And the thing is, all right, now we can go get our new quest. Now we did have you to retrieve the? Yes, I did. I recovered all oh. the technological information. And so these guys will yell at me in all caps. Some more. And we will diplomatize with him. So now we're going to have to go to Dr. Mobius's lair, which is at the fourth compass point, the north compass point. Uh, but if we walk right out the door, I think that's the place where they have, where they just have Robo Scorpions waiting for us, like pinning us in 
Yes, that is Robo Scorpions, and that would be a pretty hard battle because we have nowhere to hide, nowhere to run, nowhere to hide, nothing to hide behind. And so, Plan B comes into effect. But fortunately, I have a Plan B, which is so. Plan B would be I could go over to the same side that they're on, and go down there and kick their butt from up here using the. So I've got the force field breaker, and I can break this force field. So, yeah. So I could go down there and kick those guys' butt. Um, but I've got an even craftier plan, because plan C... See, there's... I could probably shoot some of them from up here. But plan C is to go back over here to the north side, the direction I actually want to go. See all those red spotlights in the distance? That's where I want to get to. And so, plan C is just to not even go to those robo-scorpions. And we're going to climb down the side of the building from up here and not fight those robo-scorpions at all. That's my plan. Lobotomites, those guys we can deal with because they only take one good shot from a distance to kill. We may have a few more of them between us and where we want to get to. But I'd like to just not have a big head-on fight with a bunch of robo-scorpions. I'd, I'd like to not even have a fight with robo-scorpions, honestly, if we can manage to sneak around all. There's going to be a few toward the end there, and we'll see how that goes. That is what we shall see. He set a lobotomite on fire, but I think he I think he might have lived. He might still be there. So just going down real sneaky like. You get a little bit of a sense of vertigo doing this, but as long as you, uh, you know, I can't stay in this metal thing forever. But well, I think once I get down, I may not be able to get back over the metal thing. I'm not sure. But as long as you stay on this, you know, Epcot dome <laughs> material, then you're then you're okay. You're not going to fall off. Let's put it that way. He's down. So many lobotomites. Investigating so explosive ammo while well, they're all clustered together. And I think they're all dead. Back to incineration ammo, incendiary ammo. Hit the VATS button to see if it detects anybody nearby. But, but no. And here we have a follower's doctor that apparently got <laughs> defenestrated or something. Okay, it's uh, pleasingly clear down here. We need to make our way across the open ground to Dr. Mobius's base. But I'm keeping my eye out for lobotomites. Must kill lobotomites. <sighs> Klein, as useless as the bottle of the same name. Well, except as an example of an object that uselessly tries to fulfill its purpose. Cluster of friends down here. I'm going to take them out from a distance. Well, that was, he's, he can take a lot of hits, but he's on fire, so he's easy to see where he is. He's got one more friend, and that is that group of bottomites. All right. 
kind of using my VATS button as a little radar, you know, hit the, hit the button and see if it activates anything, which, you know, it's not 100% effective, but it, it's, uh, it's easier than manually looking around for guys in the dark area. You know, I think over there by those cranes and stuff, there might be some more, more bad guy action. I'm not getting a lock on anybody, though. This direction toward Dr. Mobius is a little bit more, it's a little emptier. It's not quite as dense packed with little facilities as the other directions are. Ah, okay, so that it was scary in a minute. It looked like it was a really close to the bottom line, but it's actually quite far away. But now, she's toast. And nobody is running right toward her that I can tell. She might have been a lone wolf, a lone guard. I'm just kind of keeping, keeping near this pipe to kind of block part of the... Keeps me safe from anything on the right. Most of the things I expect to exist are kind of more on my right, because there are a few. Somewhere here, I'm going to find some Robo Scorpions. I did promise you a very special Robo Scorpion ep episode, after all. But I'm trying to get past these guys, because if I get in here and deal with Dr. Mobius, all the Robo Scorpions will turn off and there won't be it. So you can see one there's down there by that train car. So I am just sneaking over this pipe. Yeah, see those are robo scorpions. They are apparently blind as bats. Well, almost as blind as bats. They did caution me. I would definitely pop a stealth boy if I got actually spotted here. I'm coming around here, and I want to drop in right by the entrance. I think there are more robo-scorpions. You can see a red dot in right under that arch. There's going to be robo-scorpions. There may be no way around it except for Stealth Boy. But let's see. Should I go for it without the Stealth Boy and then pop the Stealth Boy quick if I get... Get seen. I'm not sure they'd have time to instantly fire me before I stealth boy, but I'm not. This is a pretty close range here for Robo Scorpionation. They'd all just turn their back and let me walk in that door. If I get in that door, they won't follow me. We could at least get our basic medications in order. I think stealthing over is definitely better than trying to run for it at that range and with them pointing right toward me. So we're going to sneak for... Oh, oh, danger! I was trying to sneak for it, but uh, I had the implant GRX to give me a little bit more Give me a little more reaction time before they would immediately shoot. And so we popped a stealth boy. And there is the giant Robo Scorpion. The giant, giant Robo Scorpion. That's right, the very special Robo Scorpion episode now has a giant Robo Scorpion. There it is. And the thing is, all around the perimeter of this room, there are things that we can activate that I actually love that I can't hear what he's saying because I have the implant GRX on. So I've turned on some drones. Now the drones... So I, I activated some drones that the Robo-Scorpion can fight, and then the, the backup generator can, you know, 
it can overload, and I guess it takes a chunk of damage off. And all the way around this room, there's all sorts of things. So you can, like, get him fighting the drone to distract it, and then you can fight the Robo Scorpion. Which, certainly the first time I ever encountered it, I, I definitely did. You know, I did some of the stuff, and I decided, okay, now I need to attack it, and then you aggro it, and it... You know, and, it, and it's huge! It's huge! It's got a huge gun on the back of its huge stinger! And what I'm gonna uh, do... The thing is, at the other end of the room, if I just sneak, you know, with my stealth boy, to be clear, around to the other... the back left corner of the room as I entered it, then I'm gonna come to the 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 emergency shutoff, and you know if I've got like a hundred hacking or whatever, which I, I do or I or, or can't get whatever, then then I can just turn the whole thing off. But I always find it sporting to to activate all the things. I like to activate all the things, uh, and I like to you know put the put the Robo Scorpion through his paces before I just turn him off. So we're just sneaking around, turning on all the things. Going up the wazoo. I think this one might turn a bunch of turrets on. Yes, turret control system. Hackety hack. New target, giant Robo Scorpion. <laughs> X42, giant Robo Scorpion. So now he's. Oh, wow. Oh, that looks like EMP. I might need to. Might need to change armor here. It would be awfully awkward to get. To get EMP'd in our stealth armor when we're otherwise having a fine day against a giant Robo Scorpion. We're still at 78. We didn't take any. Didn't take any EMP there. All right, I was about to go across there, and, uh, yeah, we didn't take any EMP. 14, we're still at 78. I was going to go across there and turn him off at the next thing, but now it seems like I'm going to have to go around the long way. So, I think we're going to end it here in the middle of the giant Robo Scorpion battle. And I hope you agree it has been a good, special, very special Robo Scorpion episode. But we will see you next time when you only live once.